What is up guys, Take James here, hopefully all of you guys are good. In this video we're going to check out a new PS Vita app. Now it is fairly new, I think it might be about 20 days old or something like that, maybe a little bit older. But what this app lets you do is basically find all the information about your PS Vita. It lets you find out what type it is, um, the Mac address, literally everything that you could possibly want to know about your console, this will provide you with. So it's a pretty cool app and um, we're basically going to install it and check it out. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we've got Vita Shell open and we're just going to go ahead and start this up. Um, I would recommend connecting your PS Vita to your computer um, if you want to install it. So what we're going to do is press select um, if you want to use USB, FTP, it doesn't matter. Just go and connect your PS Vita to your computer and then we can go and find the app. So if you guys check out the description of this video, you will be able to find a GitHub for Vita Fingerprint. And as you can see, right now it's on version 0.02, and that is a very early version. So we can expect to see some bugs and glitches. Keep that in mind, it might not be perfect. But what we're going to do is just click on Assets, and we're actually just going to download the VPK. Now you might be watching this video and there might be a new version. Obviously just go ahead and get a new version. Um, if um, 0.03 is out or version 1, is out just go ahead and install that because it's going to be a lot better but we're just going to wait for this to download and then we can go and find it in our downloads folder so as you can see here is the fingerprint file and what we're going to do is just drag and drop this on the root of our vita now i'm hoping this one is going to be a lot more advanced than the previous videos i made um, about similar apps like this i think vita identify that one was pretty good but this one looks a lot better from what i've seen so far so let's go and install it and let's check it out and let's see what information it provides us let's get this app installed and let's see what it's all about so what we're going to do is we're going to go and find it um, where is it? There you go. Fingerprint version 002.vpk. Let's press X on this one. X again. And then it's going to start installing. Actually, X one more time. So yeah, there is a few apps kind of similar to this one. Um, I think there was one called um, PSV Identify um, that I made a video on last year. There's a few others as well. Um, but I think this one is probably one of the best ones I've seen. The interface on this one looks really clean. So let's go and start it up. Got a pretty cool icon. There you go. Fingerprint for the PS Vita. And let's see what info it provides us with. So we've got some pretty interesting things. We've also got some kind of option down here. What does that do? Okay, so this provide. Yeah, I'm going to have to blur a lot of information out in this video. This is actually providing my, like... IP address and my um, Wi-Fi name and stuff like that. But let's just go on model and hardware. Um, so yeah, I might have to blur a lot out in this video. Obviously, you can see your own info. I don't want to give anything away that I shouldn't have given away, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this one provides you with the MAC address, region, type, model, just in case you're wondering. Um, as you can see, I've got a CX PS Vita. That's pretty cool. Um, firmware and flags. So this one gives you your um, current firmware, your previous firmware. So before I updated to 368, I was on 367. I didn't actually remember that. And the factory firmware on this one is 1.61. This does provide some very interesting information, to be fair. As I said, I won't scroll through everything because um, when I'm editing this video, I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to miss something out by not blurring it. Um, but we've also got system settings. Um, this one will tell you your username, um, your language, all of that kind of stuff. You guys can scroll down the screen and you can literally see everything. So I just realized we've actually got battery listed and this one gives you some really useful info about your battery. Um, so the health of my battery is 99%. That's pretty good. Um, we've got lifetime, capacity, um, how like the temperature of your battery, um, the voltage as well. They actually spelled temperature wrong. Maybe they can fix that. We've also got live area, um, which maybe they haven't updated that yet. Like I said, this is fairly early, so not everything um, will be you know working and updated. Uh, we've got memory card, which also doesn't seem to be working. Game card, I don't have a game card in. We've got Wi-Fi and network. That's kind of similar to the option down here. And we've also got partitions, PlayStation Network and activation, PSP emulator. Wow, um, we, we've also got some like miscellaneous stuff. There is a lot of interesting info on here. Um, there's my CPU speed. Um, I haven't actually got my PSV to overclocked at the um, time of making this video. Uh, we've got PSP emulator. 
So yeah, fingerprint for the PS Vita. Make sure to go and check it out. If you guys want to know any info about your PlayStation Vita, maybe your MAC address, what type, even info about your battery or something like that, um, I'd say it's definitely worth getting. It's very interesting, and it's also interesting to see like what firmware your PS Vita was previously on. So that's pretty much it. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe, check out the um, Homebrew app because it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.